In this video, we will talk about commodities. We're going to talk about what it looks like to create one, what it looks like to edit one, and why they're important. So it should be pretty clear that commodities are the most important piece of the system. In order to feed your lots, you need to have commodities. In order for the system to let you feed those commodities, you need to create them first. So we're going to start by doing that. On the left menu, you're going to go to your inventory section. You're going to find the commodities option, and that's going to show you all existing commodities that you have in your current location within the system. So every year, if you harvest high moisture corn and you want to add that as a new commodity, you need to add it to the system before you can feed it. So we're going to add a new commodity and we're going to create uh, high moisture corn for 2021. And we're going to say it's a dry matter of 75. We're going to, it's going to cost us 168 bucks a ton and we're going to bill $196 a ton. So price is the important piece if you are custom feeding. This is the number that's going to be used to bill your customer. And cost is the number that you want to uh, look at as if it was an internal cost. So this is your, your profit margin effectively is your the number between this. So we're going to create that. We're going to ignore the warning of it telling us it should have a description. And now we have High Moisture Corn 2021. So if we're going to look at High Moisture Corn 2021, this is going to show us the things we just did. We created one with uh, these two pieces of information for the price, the cost and the price, dry matter percentage. This extra piece right here, pounds on hand, says zero because we didn't add those yet. In order to adjust pounds on hand, this blue button at the top is adjust stock. We're going to click that, opens up a new window. We're going to say we have uh, 15,000 pounds of this. That then adjusts, so now we have 15,000 pounds on hand. And now this is a, a calculation of your cost and the price to show your cost on hand and your price on hand. So as you feed this commodity, this will decrease and these numbers will decrease. So this is how you look at your current inventory, on-hand inventory. Every time you get a new um, delivery of a commodity, um, in order for yourself to be um, able to see in the system how much you have remaining of that commodity, it's important you adjust stock and you add, let's say we're going to add 3,000 pounds more. You adjust that and that adds to the current pounds on hand and that will show it here. Um, obviously some commodities it's really hard or impossible to understand exactly how many you have on hand. Um, in those examples, oftentimes it's just a skipped step um, or it's eyeballed and uh, roughly entered just so you have a, a good uh, point in time. Um, but that's totally up to your operation. Um, then I'm going to jump back and I want to show you the feed load section. So. Um, because we just created this commodity, it's not within any loads. We're going to jump back and we're going to look at high moisture corn that already exists. And we just had to load a couple days since this, a couple months because this is test data. But if we load the loads from, this is about 90 days ago, um, or maybe 60 days ago, this will show you then historically all loads that include this commodity. Um, so this is going to show you your most recent um, from today, and this will show you how many pounds were targeted. Now these guys weren't mixed. This is test data, so take it with a grain of salt. But um, in this one here, we have 945 as our target. We actually fed fed out 930 pounds. Um, cost and price are here listed. Now I should mention cost and price is something you can change of a commodity. So if you need to adjust that price up or down, it does not affect the previous mixes. Um, the previous mixes, at the time those are mixed, will use the commodity's current price and cost. And then if you change it today, your feed tomorrow will use that new price and cost. Um, so that's just an important piece to know because you're able to edit basically as time goes on. If the price of corn goes up and you want to adjust that, by all means, you can do that. It will not affect previous loads. And then we can edit this commodity by clicking the pencil and this shows us all the information that we've already been aware of and we can save the changes. If we no longer have this commodity on stock and we want to no longer be able to use this commodity, we can deactivate it and save it and then that will show us that it's inactive and now it will not be selectable when you are building a ration.